Hello everybody, this is Davino from Teacher Success Coach. How are you guys doing? I hope that you're well. Right, and um, what am I grateful for today? Oh my goodness, today have been a fantastic day in terms of my students. Um, my year 10 students. Yesterday was a disaster with my year 10 students. So today there's so many things I have to be grateful for in relationship to my connection with them, in relationship to their behavior, which seems to be, yesterday was, oh my goodness, yesterday was another session. I just felt like leaving yesterday because the behavior was all over the place. So today I'm grateful because I've had a shift in behavior. Anyway, let me tell you about yesterday. Yesterday we went back to school after being off for a week and one day. When you go back, we went back, you just felt as if you hadn't gone anywhere because it was just full on when you went in yesterday. The fact that you start school on a Tuesday, you become confused anyway because you're thinking, okay, is it Monday, is it Tuesday? So you constantly have to be reminding yourself. And you notice it's not only you guys reminding yourself as to what day it is, your other colleagues are doing the same thing. So obviously it's not just you that is losing your mind, right? Um, so yesterday was, you know, that kind of an up and down and you felt, you know, by the afternoon time, you just felt as if you hadn't had a time off. You just feel really tired. Anyway, yesterday I had double year 10. Year 10 so far is one of the most um, disengaged, disempowered um, behaviors and issue set of students you have in the school and everybody's talking about this this group however as you know the more you talk negative about a group of students the more you get negative back so debbie was trying to do this positive thing you know like give them quotes on the board you know then give them all to take a quote then you know like the brain break getting them to jump around. Oh my goodness, that's, that doesn't work for that group. So anyway, yesterday I had them for sociology and I was dreading it. I dreaded it and I got the negative. And then I covered an English class. I have not given so many detention for a long time. I gave 15 student detention. That's a lot of them detention, right? Because it's like, they were not listening, they were, you know, carrying on, they're arguing with you, you know, one of them ends up swearing, another one decides he's going to storm outside. I had all of that. When I finished the session yesterday afternoon, because yesterday I taught full on every lesson, because normally we have five lessons. So I taught for four of my own lesson, and then I covered one. And of that, I had two of my year 10 student group, rather. I was exhausted by the end of the day. I was totally mashed by the end of the day. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, that's why you call dread. As much as I try to be positive and have all this positive energy and positive, you know, mindset, etc., etc., it wasn't working for me yesterday. So anyway, I thought, okay, I had the group again today. My year, you know, my year 10 sociology. And I'm thinking, oh God. Lord, I have them first lesson and it's like the dread coming in in my head and I'm thinking, well, Deb, you need to start looking at that group differently. And I thought, oh, well, when I went in, I actually said to them, I actually lay down the law again. I said to them, anybody talk? I'm putting names on, but I'm just sick and tired of this disgusting behavior you guys are getting on with. I am sick and tired of I have no, you know, I'm not being able, I'm not able to teach because you guys are constantly talking and disrupting. That was an hour lesson. The first um, 10 minutes, I had about seven names on the board. And I'm thinking, oh, gee. And I felt that I was constantly saying, stop talking. But one of the beautiful things about that is halfway through I said, I'm not saying anything. Yesterday I had to just say nothing and just sat there until they became, you know, quiet. Today I thought I'm not going to do that because yesterday I wasted a lot of time in my lesson. So today I wasn't having that. I was just putting names on board and giving the ticks and sending outside. Right? And I must say, I think when they realized that the names of, because I normally don't put a lot of names on the board. And when they realized so many names on the board, 
even the student who normally become normally is disengaged they were engaged so i had a fantastic lesson today it was so brilliant even the students that as i said who normally don't engage he would normally be disruptive and all of that you know actually take him outside and give him a pep talk you know in terms of you know you know you could do it you know you there's no reason for you to be disruptive look you came in you, you, you realize that the door was stuck, you unstuck the door, and you know, you did all of that, come on, you could do better than that, you know, you know what you could do, so you know, give him all that pet talk, etc., so it was really nice that he was engaging, and he's actually written half a page in my lesson, I was excited, because I normally don't get this child to re-engage, it's like, that's something all of us are talking about, this child is not engaging, and that child engaged in my lesson, and it was so brilliant because we were talking about power and authority and, you know, Max Weber and power. And it was really good. I had such a brilliant lesson. You know, that student half a page. That was a lot of work. And it's like I said, okay, because I put PowerPoint on and then, you know, discuss and I say, well, okay, I'm moving. I'm just going to the next slide. No, miss, please wait. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I haven't had that for a long time. And it's like, you know, I read it and I summarized and somebody was reading and summarized. And then I had this little competition going on. You know, this one wanted to answer more questions. Oh my goodness, it was good. I had a brilliant lesson. And when I realized, you know, when the bell went, one of them said, oh miss, the lesson finished really quickly. I said, yes, it did. It really did. So today I had a fantastic lesson because normally, you know, it's like everybody dread the year tens. So I went back to the staff room. Someone said, oh, how was your lesson? I said, oh my goodness, it was absolutely brilliant because one student I had yesterday who I had to put on detention because her behavior was so disgusting. She had a detention in my lesson and she had a detention when I covered the English group. So yesterday she had two detention. Today, her behavior and her engagement was top. You know, I had to keep a few of them back after to commend them on how brilliant they were. You know, in terms of the engagement, in terms of the behavior, in terms of the discussion, it was just brilliant. My students were on fire. So, you know, when I kept them, you know, back and say, you know, well done, etc. One of them said to me, that was the very disruptive student yesterday. Because as I said, I gave her two detention yesterday in two of my lessons. She said, Miss, thank you very much. It really, really made a difference to me. You know, you telling me that I really work well, etc. And I became so emotional. I became so emotional, you know. The way she was thanking me for actually, you know, acknowledging that she did well. And, you know, as I keep on saying to my colleague, when they do badly, we have to make them know they mess up. But when they've done well, it doesn't matter how small it is, we need to celebrate that. And today I was celebrating my student. So my students were high and I was high and it was brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So today I had a fantastic lesson, you know. And I thought I had them again tomorrow because I, when I looked at my timetable, I thought, oh, I've got them tomorrow. So I was planning my lesson, etc. And I didn't even do my marking, so I decided to plan my lesson because, you know, they were on fire, I was on fire. They said, oh, Mr. see you tomorrow. But I'm not seeing them tomorrow. I'm seeing them in the next two weeks. So they actually made a mistake, and so did I. So when I look at my timetable, I realize I don't have them until next week. So I spent all this time planning my lesson, you know, in, in uh, my lunch break, and I had a free, um, a free planning session. I used that to plan my lesson, which I thought was tomorrow. There's no lesson tomorrow. So, you know, and one of my colleagues said, at least you've done the preparation already. But I could have done my marking. So it seemed like an all night tonight doing my marking. Because I'm going to give the student back the work tomorrow. So that was my day today in terms of celebrating my students. Because they've done so well in terms of engagement, in terms of behavior. You know, although I sent two of them out today because one of them, she was... She was playing, she actually had made some paper plain, etc. So I had to throw, throw out of my lesson today, give her a detention. I gave two students detention today, even though I had a whole list of names on the board. But overall, the behavior was just brilliant. You know, me putting them on the board, that was a warning for them. 
but I didn't even have to go to, except for two students that had to give a detention, I didn't even have to go on to the process. So it was really, really good because that group could be extremely challenging. And that's a group of year 10 where the students are, you know, they're not too sure, they're disconnected, they lack engagement, lack in motivation. It doesn't matter how much you inspire them. And in terms of the year 10, it's not only in the school, it's across the board where the student, I think it's after with uncertainty and, you know, not to show what to do. They're kind of a lost and, you know, they had COVID, they had the, you know, the pandemic. So they're now coming back and, you know, you've got all of that going on there. And, you know, we also have students doing exams as well for the first time. So my, um, my year 11s and my year 13s are doing exams so that also make you as a teacher become very very stressed especially when one should i say to me yesterday because she met me when i was going home you know we walk across to the train station miss i've just had enough i don't want to go to university i just really fed up and i think you oh, know what and it's like having to do the pep talk yes you know you could do it because she's a very able and bright student but because they have not done exams they didn't even do the gcse and now they're doing the a level it's a lot of stress on them because they don't know what to expect. You know, I saw them again today because today was the uh, paper two of psychology and some of them were busy to come and find me to say, Miss, it was good, it went well. And that made me feel good because the fact that the student felt good about the paper, it meant that, you know, they would have done well in the exam. So that was good. You know, one of them say that, you know, she thought the research method was going to be much more difficult, but it wasn't. It was doable, you know, and then they had, you know, um, approaches, which we revised in great depth. I said, uh, we've revised that so much and in so much depth. I really hope that you guys really, you know, dealt with it. And they said, yes, it was good. So that was good. So overall today, in terms of my students, my, the engagement, it was really fantastic. So today was a good day, you know, still, we all still tired because having to, you know, get in a week and a day. Yes, we're very grateful for the time, but it's just really, being a teacher is fantastic. It's great reward, etc. But guys, it's exhausting. It's exhausting. And more and more and more you have students are fighting, you have, you know, students fighting each other they want to fight teachers they have attitude etc yesterday i had a two you know had two classes with students with attitude and i stood up and said to them i'm not having that attitude i'm not teaching i'm just sitting so i just listen to them carry on they don't want to learn they carrying on and shouting and i just sat down and watched them but today i thought okay yesterday I sat down and until they were quiet, and I think I'm not going to have that today because yesterday I did less than 20 minutes teaching and it could be quite disempowering for you as a teacher. So today I'm going to my class and I think, you know what, I'm just going to lay down the rule, the rule to them, although I lay down every, every day. But today I think they saw a different side of me because the minute they say, oh, me, I want to ask a question. I said, no, hand, you're supposed to put your hand up, name on board. So that really worked well today. So in terms of students and the behavior, it's, you know, teaching is lovely, as I said, it's fantastic in terms of rewarding, but at the same time, it's extremely tiring, extremely tiring, especially when you have to be counselor, you have to be parents, you have to be friends sometimes, you have to be educator you have to be counselor you have to be you know mentor you name it it could be very tiring and now there's so many teachers leaving the profession because of high level stress high level stress in relationship to planning assessing marking our uh, well-being oh it is quite big it's quite big. I'm, I'm doing a research on what are the factors that cause the highest level of stress for teachers and burnout. Because that is 
it is at an alarming rate and you have teachers leaving the profession at an alarming rate as well and one of the top um, factor is workload the workload is a lot it's like I had a free session this afternoon and I'm thinking okay the time I turn around that free session was done and I still have not even finished that's why I say tonight is gonna be a all night up because I've got to do my marking because I promised the student I'm gonna give it back to them tomorrow so I just have to stay up and get it done so guys have a great evening and remember what you're grateful identify what you're grateful for celebrate it and enjoy it and remember you need to demonstrate self-love and self-care nobody nobody would love you as you love you so you need to make sure that you love yourself unconditionally unconditionally you know because life is tiring especially being an educator and there's no point in educators all they say to me oh debbie i don't have time to um to take care of myself i don't have time to spend time in self-love etc you have to make the time always means that when you go into your student you're going to a student burn out you are not able to give your student what you meant to give them which is high energy because you're too tired right anyway guys take care stay blessed i need to go and do a counseling session with a client and then i have to go and do my my marking you know, I've got lots of market terms of psychology, sociology, and health and social care. Oh, Lord. Anyway, guys, take care, stay blessed. I will see you guys tomorrow. And remember, identify your blessings, celebrate it. There's things that you need to be grateful for, and there are things that you need to celebrate. Have a great evening. Stay blessed. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.